So today we're moving on to circles. Now, a circle comes in this form with, with one little stipulation. This is usually y minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared with a b the center. So for this equation, it's centered about 0, 0 because we're not subtracting any numbers. And then our radius is r, so we, we would take the square root of both sides to solve for r. Now this isn't an actual, we don't have an actual number for r, but what if I told you that x squared plus y squared is equal to 4? We would take the square root of 4 to find out what r equals. So r equals 2. So our center is at 0, 0. I'm just going to put that so you know. But you remember a circle doesn't intersect its center. So if we have a radius of 2, that means that every point is 2 away from the center. So that's what our circle would look like. Okay, so x squared plus y squared equals 4. This is what we just did, so we're going to skip this one. x minus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 9. So first we're going to find out what our radius is. Our radius is equal to the square root of 9. So r is equal to positive and minus 3. Now in this case, our plus and minus tells us direction. So it says our radius goes 3 to the right and it also goes 3 to the left. So our center, if, if you remember it, comes in this form A, B. So our A is positive 1, our B is negative 1, so that's our center, so I'm going to plot that. 1, negative 1, so this is our center, and our radius goes 3 in each direction, so up 3, left 3, and down 3. So there's our circle, and I know it's not perfectly a circle, I don't have a compass with me right now. And that's all actually for our equations of circles, but make sure you come back where we're going to talk about a third nonlinear equation called an ellipse.